The game of chess was invented sometime during the 6th century Anno Domini. The final goal of any chess games is to completely trap the opponent's king piece. But as time went by, people thought that only trapping the king sounded way too unfair. So they decided to trap the rook as well. Rookmate is one of the available chess variants available on chess.com. And just like the name suggested, we need to checkmate the h-file rook in this mode, or check the rook seven times, which means attacking the rook seven times, and even though this is my first ever rookmate game, the rules of the game are pretty much the same as normal chess. There is no disclaimer today. We get a 14 year old Indian that has a premium membership. Youngsters these days are so rich. Now I have to win this game to keep my dignity intact. But I still have a question though. Is he really from India? The amount of Indian opponents I have faced on this channel is way too many, to the point that it unavoidably makes me wonder. Are they actually using? NordVPN. Have you ever been in a game that your opponent absolutely destroyed you with his 1000 opening moves London system preparation? With NordVPN, you can fool your opponent that you are actually from England. And they will never dare to play the London system against you anymore. Or maybe you are in a situation that your wife is working for your internet service provider and has totally disallowed you from using your computer how you want to. NordVPN is now your best friend and will totally prevent her from tracking your internet usage. So you can watch any movies, or play any games you like. Over 6000 servers worldwide, fastest connection speed VPN in the world, protect from malwares, protect from leak credentials, having a VPN is crucial for a safe internet browsing experience in this day and age, check out NordVPN right now at the link in the description below, and get 4 months extra on a 2 year plan, it's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Back to the video b3. Since I should be attacking his rook, putting a bishop aiming straight at his rook should be the best approach for this game. And he blocks it immediately. Bishop b2 regardless. d5. e3. I find there is no reason to be aggressive in the center, because the king isn't the thing that needs to be attacked. e6. Bishop d3. Apart from the other bishop, this bishop also aims at a very crucial square for his rook. c5. He is attack on the center. So I'll attack on the side. Knight c6. That is way too slow. g5. My attack is more dangerous because it is closer to his rook. So at least now we are having the initiative. Knight e4. f3. Queen takes g5. Aha. That is very sneaky. I guess he is saying oh no my knight over there somewhere in India. And if I take his knight, there will be queen to g2. An absolutely unexpected checkmate in one. So I guess. Queen e2. Knight g3 check. One down. We only have 6 lives left. H takes g3. Queen takes g3. f4. Nothing to worry about, I don't even want to trade queens with him. It may surprise you but I actually like this position very much. Because even my important rook is proving his value as a major piece. Knight b4. I need my queen to attack so I have to send someone else to defend the rook instead of her. And what can be a better choice than the f***ing king? Melee king is the best. Knight takes d3. C takes d3. This is a bad move, I should have taken with queen. But it's alright. Bishop d7. Alright. Here we go. Queen h5. Maybe he won't see it. Yes. Queen takes h7 check. My important rook. 
is also a rook. Rook f8. Queen to h8. Back rank checkmate. Rook mate. 100% win rate.